So here we go. If you cannot guess what this video is going to be about, then I don't know if I can help you. But from the title, this is going to be about cannons. Now, I've played this game long enough, and I'm just surprised that uh, no one has ever really made a video about cannons, which is funny because that's what almost the entire game is about, sailing a very beautiful ship around like this and shooting cannons. Yet, I have not seen any videos out there, so I thought, why not? We're going to throw one out. Uh, to help all those new players uh, kind of learn more about the cannons that they're putting on their ships. Uh, hopefully this will help you know, not just the new players, but maybe some existing players out there who still just suck at it. Hell, I suck at it. I have to have someone else tell me exactly what I'm doing wrong all the time, and that's why I'm here to explain it to you. So, without, with uh, saying that, let's actually get started here. These are your cannons. We have mediums, longs, bloomfields, navy guns, down here some poods, I'll explain those, they're interesting, congreves, the abusier, and the carronades. Well, I'm going to pull your attention over here really fast. I'm hovering over the 42 pound medium cannon, and we're going to explain what these numbers, what all these numbers mean. Um, that's the main thing you're going to be paying attention to. As you can tell, caliber, that's the size of the cannon, 42, that's what we're looking at, it's just a medium gun. It's base damage, 182. Now that's the amount of damage it's going to do when it once it penetrates through an enemy ship's armor. Uh, that's the damage we're going to be seeing from that. It's reload, 65 seconds. Now this is going to be very important because you can change that number around. Max horizontal and vertical dispersion. Dispersion is how fast you can aim in on uh, one spot and how accurate it's going to be. You know, if you're not, if you're trying to aim and fire as fast as possible. The dispersion is going to be a little bit off. Um, your rounds are going to go kind of all over the place. The little more time you give it, the faster it can uh, give a little bit better dispersion. You can change these numbers. You want them as low as you can. The lower the numbers here, the uh, better the dispersion is going to be, the more accurate it's going to be. Weight, just how much the cannon weighs, how much the ship can carry. It's a little important there. The main thing you're going to be paying attention to is penetration. Now, this is what is uh, very important when it comes to cannons because you can change these numbers around as well. And it's also going to be very important when it comes to you know mixing and matching a few of these cannons. Obviously, on this side, these numbers is how close you are to uh, the target that you're shooting. 50 meters, you're basically touching each other almost. 100 meters, you're extremely close. Everything's going to penetrate at that point. The real big numbers that you need to pay attention to is once it passes 200 meters, usually around the 250 meter range is where you're really going to be trying to pay attention to angles and uh, broadsides and what's going to pen, what's not going to pen. That's where the, some of the numbers really matter is within this 200 all the way down to 400 and 500 meters. That's when it's uh, really kind of important to pay attention to these. You see it uh, at 100 meters, this 42 pound car or medium gun this is the biggest medium gun. This is the biggest caliber that you can stick on a ship. And you can't put it on anything other than a third rate and above, I believe. No, not even that. I think it's just a second rate and above. The only third rate, I don't think, I'm not a single third rate that I can believe takes uh, 42 pounders. I believe it's only second and first rates. Third rates are 32 pounders, and the biggest one is a 36 pounder, which goes on the Implacable, Redoubtable, and De Reuter if I'm not mistaken there. But 42 pounds are the biggest guns you can put on a ship. Um, so that's why we're going to have to pay attention to that base damage because it changes no matter what other cannon you use over here. All these numbers do change and that's why it's going to be important to pay attention to that. At 100 meters, anything's going to pen. 50 meters, even a little basic cutters, 4 pound cannons are going to penetrate at that close range. It does not really matter. It's Again, the numbers really depend once you get out here to the 2, 300, 400, 500 meter range. That's, what, uh, that's something we all need to pay attention to. For you new players that have started, you most likely will notice that you've just started off grabbing as many mediums as you can because those are cheapest. They're cheap. You can buy them in any port. Every single uh, port and outpost in this game has medium cannons everywhere. They're just provided by the by that port itself. Uh, back in the day, they actually only had mediums, longs, carronades, and if you were very lucky, you got yourself some poods, and those were just oh so special. Now they've added on all these uh, bloomfields, navy guns, and uh, the congreves and the bousiers. That's why it's uh, I think it's so important to get this video out here. Now, I grabbed as many cannons as I could. Um, obviously, I'm still missing a few of them. 
I guess I'm f missing a few pound here because I don't have a 42 pound navy gun. I think that might be almost all I'm missing other than a few others. But uh, your, your outpost or your uh, warehouse most likely doesn't look like this. You've probably, if anything, got a, a lot of mediums if you're a new player. More experienced players, their outposts probably even look like they have more cannons than this, which is completely fine. So what, what do we need to look at here? What we, what we really need to look at is the differences in these cannons. Um, not necessarily per the caliber, but what are the reloads and the pens and everything like that. This is the 9-pound medium. Cheap freaking cannon. And I'm just going to come out and tell you right now, it's it's almost a useless cannon. But it's cheap, so you probably throw it on your ships anyways. A lot of you players out there who have those uh, DLC ships, the Redoubtable, the DLC Victory, Ratvisen, Leopard, uh, Trincomalee. I mean, you don't want to spend good money to throw these really nice cannons on there because you're most likely going to lose that ship. At least, and I'm, and I'm not saying that's for everybody, but uh, some people will. You'll probably just throw a 9-pound mediums on there. That's your choice. Bless your heart. Guess what? I do it too. Whenever I take a redoubtable out real fast to lose it in the patrol zone, heck, if I don't want to spend money on good cannons um, and I know I'm just going to go out to suicide, I just need the damage. I'm just going to throw out those 9-pound mediums on there. Of course I am. Because broadside to broadside, as you can tell, at 100 meters, they usually pen almost everything. 157 penetration at 100 meters. Anything closer than that, again, it, even a four-pound cannon is going to penetrate broadside to broadside when you're uh, that close. It's when you get further away, that 200 meters and that uh, three and 400 meters, you're going to see a little bit of difference down there. Let's see if maybe I can click out and uh, explain that. Oh, no, it would be on the 42-pounders. But again, these are just some super small cannons. They're not going to do a very good job penning, and a lot of this has to do with the angle of the ship you're firing at. This is a literal broadside to broadside. If the ship you're shooting at is any further than 100 meters and it is angled at almost any degrees, these cannons or cannonballs are just going to bounce off. That's all they're going to do. And now see, that is where you're going to want to move to these 9-pound long guns. When you're really being serious about equipping your ship with some good cannons, you want long guns. You're, you're not going to want to throw these mediums. Mediums are just for amateurs. And now I say that um, with a grain of salt because, again, I use it all the time too but they're just not as nice. When you really want to put a little extra money and extra time into the ship that you're about to take out, you want these long cannons. Now, again, these are just nine pounder uh, longs. You have a choice between these most of the time and some carronades, 42 pounders. So let's look at the real difference here. Let's look at that base damage, 65 for a base damage on a nine pound medium gun. That's just how much damage that cannon's gonna do if it penetrates. That's only if it penetrates the ship. Is it going to do a base damage of 65? And that, again, that's just the base there. Once you move up to a long, the damage might decrease 60 to 65. Now, you're not going to notice a huge difference in battle. You're not going to be like, oh, my gosh, that guy's obviously got a 9-pound uh, medium because his damage was five, just like five less than my long cannon. You're not going to even notice the differences. But at least you can look at uh, this video and tell the difference here. That's a 60 to a 65. These are the most used cannons probably in the game. Now, the rare cannons, or I guess the more high-powered cannons, are going to be over here. These are your bloom fields and your navy guns. Now, let's explain these real quick. Bloom fields are known for more damage. That's what they are. They are that's what they do is they, they put out damage more than the rest of these cannons. 66. Now, that's not very much more. That's one point more than a 9-pounder. One point more. Well, let's look at the pen. The penetration is up. And what's really important is that reload. Check out that reload, 39 seconds reload to 40 seconds. Not a huge difference. But when you uh, increase that with some maybe some reload books, maybe some reload mods, because so the penetration isn't, isn't that important. It's got a good pen as it is. When you throw on some reload books and some reload modifications on your ship to lower that reload, these bloom fields are going to be doing 66 damage per broadside. And that's, it's somewhat important. You will definitely notice a difference at that point when you're just using a machine gun. So let's move over here to the Navy gun, though. The reload is 44 seconds, but what Navy guns are really known for is the penetration and the damage. The way I think of a Navy gun, and this is just a 9-pounder, is you're going to take a medium gun and a long 
shotgun, a medium and a long, you're going to combine those together and what you get is a navy gun. This is the child, basically, of a long and medium getting together here. Because what do you have? You have a base damage of 65, reload of 44, and look at the pens. At a 200 meters, 200 meter, that's 159. We'll look at a long cannon, a 200 meter, 159. Look at the base damage and reload of a medium cannon. 65 base and 40 second reload. Over here, 44 second reload, so a little longer, but 65 base. So you're basically getting the exact same damage with the exact same amount of penetration out of these two into that Navy gun. So that is going to be your big difference in these, in these cannons against the Bloomfield and the Navy. If you're looking for a faster reload, more damage output, you're going to want to go with your Bloomfields. If you're looking for a bigger pen, better pen, and uh, with still a decent amount of damage, the same amount of damage as a medium cannon, you want to go with your navy guns. So now let's see, let's jump, let's start going down the, down the line here. Uh, base damage, 65, 9 pounder, 79 for 12, 18 is 104. Obviously, just the bigger the caliber, the more damage you're getting. With that, you're getting a higher reload, 58 seconds to a 24 pounder compared to 40 seconds. Not a huge difference, but you will definitely notice it in battle. Let's get down here to 32, 63 second reload damage of 152. Now, 32 pounders are used quite often in this game. Almost every single third rate, except for the implacable and redoubtable, use 32 pound medium guns, along with a fourth rate, which is the Ingermanland, which also uses the 32 pounder mediums, longs, whatever you want to use which is a fourth rate, and so that's a pretty powerful bottom deck broadside for a fourth rate ship of the line. You're getting high damage on these, a little bit longer reload. Obviously the penetration goes up because it's a bigger cannon, a lot more power is coming out of these. So now let's go over here, 32 mediums to a 32 pound long cannon. Base damage 140, what's your difference? 152 to 140, that's 12 pound difference. Let's go over here, base damage 154. Now, obviously, that's a lot more than that long cannon. Now, over here, 152, the exact same as a medium cannon. The only difference is that little bit longer reload, but the penetration is going to be the exact same as the long cannon, and that is what makes these things so deadly. That is what makes a Navy gun, in my opinion, it depends on what you're using them for, but this Navy gun is going to be a much better cannon to put on almost any ship. That's why these things are expensive to find in the outposts. They're hard to find. And uh, people pay a lot of money to get these because this is one hell of a broadside coming out of a Navy gun. So let's move up here to the, some of these other cannons. Let's go to the 24-pounders because that's kind of just what I found right here. 24-pound medium guns. Base damage, 125. Reload, 58. Go over here to longs, 116, 63. But again, look at that penetration. At 200, at 200 meters, it's 181. That's what's going to be your important stuff to look at. Bloomfields, 128, huge jump up there. 125 for Navy guns. Now, here's the interesting thing. What are Congreves? What is a Congreve cannon? They're actually very hard to find because a lot of people just throw them away. They're really not that good. This is a 24-pounder, and it's base damage. Check that out, 113 to 125. This is... This is the same caliber. This is a medium gun. This is some. These are the ones you find in ports. You find these in any port, and they're cheap. Twenty-four pound medium gun. Yet you come over to a Congreve. Look at that base damage. One thirteen. Well, let's look at the real difference here. The reload fifty-two. Over here, reload fifty-eight. Okay, so the reload on a medium is a little bit, bit longer. So that means this is going to be your fastest reload. I don't think anything reloads that fast. Fifty-seven, sixty-three, sixty-three. Right. 57 on that. So there's a big difference. This is a faster reloading cannon. That's what these Congreves are going to do. They're going to reload a lot faster. But look at that base damage. That is very low. Again, what's most important is that penetration down there. Look, 50 meters, anything's going to pin. Again, fourth pounders will pin at any at broadside at that close of a range. 100 meters, 169. But the further it gets, the more it drops. These things are not going to make a dent past 200 meters. Not a dent. And that's even base. That's not talking about any angling. Imagine the ship you're shooting at is not angled at all. If it is angled, 
That's it. You're not going to pen a single thing with these Congreves. And even if you do, that base damage isn't going to do too much. So what makes these Congreves important, if they even are important? Most people are going to disagree with me on this. But if you look at the weight, look at that weight. It's 2.94. Let's see the differences in all these. 413, 372, 413, 327. That is going to be your big difference here is the weight in these cannons. You can load a, a very small ship that you're mainly trying to use um, for PvP, and you want that ship to go just a little bit faster. Well, anytime you put cannons on a ship, it weighs them down a little bit, and it lowers the speed. Not by much, but it does lower the speed. These Congreves are not going to do that. These Congreves are going to make your ship lighter, therefore faster. It's going to help your ship go a little bit quicker. Congreves are, in my opinion, still not even worth using. Um, you're going to get a lot faster reload out of them, but you're getting less damage. The pen is just about the same as, nope, not even close to that. What is the pen again? 300, it's 137. Nope. Nope. 300 over here, 147. So again, low pen, low damage, fast reload, light cannon. The cannons are very lightweight, so if you were to deck out an entire ship with Congreves, the best thing you could do in my opinion if it's a it's a f ship of the line and we're not talking about frigates frigates are going to like these congreves that's what you put them on and if you were to deck out a ship of the line with congreves your best chance is to go up get right broadside to broadside and you will out dps anything that is shooting at you load up some reload mods and some reload books onto your ship and you're going to get that reload from 52 down to probably f in the 40s and you can just out DPS anything that gets next to you. And I guarantee whatever player is shooting at you is going to be thinking, what is he using? He'll probably think you're just using Abuziers or Carronades because this is where your reload comes from. These are the lot faster reloads, 43 seconds. Uh, oh, same thing, 43 seconds. What are the Carronades used for? Now, this is basically your big shotgun. If most of you players have ever played a first-person shooter, you know what a shotgun is. You know how it fires. It's a big spread. A lot of damage doesn't shoot far. That is what a carronade is. If you're looking to just get right up next to your enemy and put a lot of damage out super fast, that's what you use a carronade for. You will see most carronades on, uh, on either the top deck of a big ship, probably a third, second, and first rate, most players are going to equip their very top deck with carronades. Why is that? Because they usually take 9-pounders on the top deck, or they give you that choice of a 42-pound carronade. Let's see here. And that's where you're going to see this over here, and I was actually going to part, make that part of a different video. Your upper deck, this is my top deck, it uses 18 9-pound cannons, 9-pound cannons, or... You can use a carronade. That's what's down here is these carronade limits. See that 42 pound? The 42 pound carronades can go on the top deck of this ship. So that's where you have to make that choice. Do I want a 9 pounder that's not going to do tons of damage? It's going to have a lot more pen and it's going to shoot far. Or am I going to get broadside to broadside with this guy and use these 42 pound carronades which are just going to do a ton of damage really, really fast. And I'm just going to keep shotgunning this other player until you know they run the heck away because those 42 pound carronades are going to do a lot more damage a lot faster the more experienced players most of them you will see them throw these 42 pound carronades or something smaller on their very top deck a lot of players do not use the nine pounders that is preference and uh, the good thing about making this video is that there are so many players out there who can disagree with me and that again is your choice if you've played this game long enough you've found what works best for you uh, i've i have found what works best for me and is all I'm really doing, guys, is trying to get the information out to you. Uh, if you choose 42-pound carronades on your top deck, great. Guess what? I like to throw my 9-pounders on certain ships. It just depends on the ship and depends on what I'm using that ship for. And that's something you're going to have to find out. And maybe I can explain a little bit of that to you, but I really like putting 9-pounds on my top deck unless I'm maybe in a port battle. In a port battle, I'll definitely throw these 42-pounders because I'm usually broadside to broadside, and I need to get as much damage out as possible as fast as I can. So let's go over here to the Abusier. Interesting cannon. Uh, this one's actually kind of hard to find too, actually. Not too many of these going around. Most people get rid of them. What does it do? It's obviously base damage 70, which is a lot less than a carronade. So then why would you want to use it if it has that same reload, 
but it's less than a carinade. Let's look at the penetration at 200 meters, 117. Over here, 200 meters, 108. Oh, that doesn't do, that doesn't pen for crap. You might as well throw a rock at the other guy. You're not going to get any penetration out of these, and you have to be broadside to broadside. And even at 50 meters, 152 is going to be that penetration. So what is the abusier used for? What, what would you want to use this for? Well, a Boozier is really good at decrewing an enemy ship. The Abusier is going to kill more crew off of a ship that you shoot at than these carronades are. A full broadside of 24-pound carronades say you might kill two, three, maybe four crew members. The exact same broadside from an Abusier might kill up to 15, 16, even higher crew. Maybe. And again, I'm, it's just a long shot. I'm not... Don't 100% quote me. If you want to go out there and practice that, bless your bloody heart. But I've seen it happen. Uh, I've seen the videos. I've seen it happen. I've used it myself. I have tested this. It will kill more crew. That is what the Bouzier is used for. Uh, so you just can use that at your own discretion, whatever you want. Most players are still going to stick to the Carinade because that higher damage with a good reload and a, and a lot higher penetration depending on how far out you are. Whereas the Bouzier... Some people will use that just to decrew a smaller ship and run away. These two cannons, in my personal opinion, and you can argue this with me, are going to be best used on frigates, fifth rates and below, because they're, they're lightweight. You can put them on a fast ship, get in, do some damage, kill crew, board something, get the hell out, and run away. And you're usually going to, generally going to be a lot safer with these. Again, that's at your uh, own discretion on that one. Poods. What is a pood? Well, honestly, I don't really care for the name. But what is it? This is a rare cannon. Now, again, back in the day, before they had all these other cannons, you only had mediums, longs, carronades. And if you were extremely lucky, you'd get yourself some poods. And you need to have the exact amount. Now, the only reason I have 18 pounders is because, guess what? There's only 18 pounders. It is you cannot find any other size of a pood. 18 pound is the only size they come in. So what are they good for? Since they're only 18 pounders, and if you're looking at the damage right there, it's only 118. Well, that's not very high. Not at all. But look at that reload. Well, that reload is faster than a Congreve. Congreve's 52 seconds, less damage, but 52. So it obviously does more damage and reloads faster than the Congreve. Also, look at the weight. 149 to even a Congreve's 2.94, so it obviously weighs even less. So right there you again, probably better on some uh, on some frigates, something super fast. But why would people even want to use these? Low damage, fast reload, that's not the only reason here. They reload just about the same amount as the Carinade and the Bouzier. And the Carinade and Bouzier are just like shotguns. So that's, what's make them, that's what makes them really nice. So why would you want to put a pood over one, let's say, a carinade or an abusier? Well, the way I like to explain a pood is I go off of, oh, let's just pull these 18 pounders over here, is a pood shoots just about the exact same distance as a medium. Now let's look at the penetration though. The pen at 200 meters is 156 of a medium. 200 is 147, so not too much lower, obviously. What about this one? 217, so it pens more than a carronade. Reloads about as fast as a carronade. It does more damage than a carronade. And it shoots the same distance as a medium. Now when I say that, if you've ever shot carronades, they lob. They don't go straight. They lob at the enemy. That's what they do. They just kind of have an arc to them and they drop in the water super fast. They do have, they have no distance. Again, shotgun effect. Think of a shotgun. They shoot. Uh, they're extremely dangerous at close quarters. At anything too far, you might as well not even shoot them. No reason to no reason to use them. You you can see that in videos. So, but what a pood does is it shoots the same distance as about a medium cannon. So you're getting the the distance of a medium, a faster reload than a medium. Uh, actually, base damage. It's even more than a medium. It even shoots more. At, well, that's an 18 pounder. So it even has a little bit more than that medium faster reload. You're basically getting the best of both worlds here. 
extremely high damage, fast reload of a Karen nade, distance, uh, decent pen. That is what the Poot is used for. Now, they're not going to be used too much more these days. I haven't seen too many people use them, mainly because there's only the 18-pounders. That's uh, very difficult. There's not too many ships out there you can throw that on. Uh, usually the th in the third rates, the third rates, I know you can put it on a third rate, the actual third rate ship of the line, uh, not a Bologna. Well, you can put them on a Bologna, but a Bologna can handle 24 pounders, so you'd rather probably put better guns such as the uh, Navy guns or the Bloomfields on a Bologna than you would want to put a Pood. It just depends on what you're using them for, and that's what these are, are here for is they have a specific use a fast reload another they're another one of those get in shoot a lot of stuff get out they reload fast they do a lot of damage um it just depends on what you want to use them for but that is the pood now your next question might just be where do you get these cannons where do they come from uh you can get mediums and longs in uh, almost any port mediums everywhere longs they're gonna be expensive but you'll find them in almost every port clan members make them most players like the long cannons so you're gonna find those almost anywhere same with carronades where do you get these navy guns these bloomfields there's these these power power cannons these uh they're just a lot better better cannons out there for you where, where do they come from well i mean you can find them in let's see here you can find them obviously in free ports such as La Tortue, La Mona, Tombato, places like that. Um, you're gonna find them for sale, but they're gonna be extremely expensive. That's a lot of a lot of silver, a lot of reals running out the window for the, for you. They're going to be pricey because they're rare cannons. They're harder to obtain, and players who do get them throw them up for sale for an extremely high amount. And you're never gonna find a full set. You will. It's rare. I don't think I've ever seen a full set of any of these cannons being in any port. So that doesn't help you much. You don't want to sit around waiting, looking uh, for whenever you can pick up the right cannons for such a high price. Well, these cannons are only in stock because other players are going out there and obtaining them, bringing them back and putting them up for sale. How do you do that, though? So how do you go out and find them so you don't have to spend that much money here? This is what you've probably seen out in the open world by now. You've seen a ship, you've clicked on it, it's an AI, an NPC, and it's had these little crossbones here. And you've wondered, well, what's that mean? Well, that means they are an elite AI. That's what they are called, is an elite AI. It's an NPC on steroids. It's the same ship, Cerberus, that you would normally run into, but it's going to be a lot faster, a lot stronger. It's going to shoot, uh, it's going to reload. I guess you say it's going to reload faster. It's going to pen every time. Do not try to demast it. I don't care what ship it is. It's very, very hard to demast them. Their masts, for some reason, just don't seem to fall, no matter how many broadsides you've put in. I've tried. But anytime you see an AI out here with these crossbones, that's mean it's an elite AI. If you decide to take one down, you sink it, make sure that you loot the ship. Get close to it and make sure you do that looting. You're going to find either a note, which is going to redeem you the exact same ship you just sunk, for the most part, uh, with random bonuses or it's going to drop cannons and the only cannons that it will drop are the ones we just talked about the abusiers the congreves if you're lucky you'll get navy guns some bloom fields now from my experience if you run into a little a elite ai and it's just a seventh or a fifth rate you're probably going to find these lower these lower pound cannons, these lower calibers, these 9s, 12s at most, maybe something around there. You're not going to find these 32s and the 42 pounders until you're taking down second and first rate ship of the line, elite AI. Those are where you're going to get these bigger cannons. And that's a, even then it's luck. Again, you don't even know what you're going to find when you sink them. But that is where you will obtain these cannons for those who had that question. Well, let's start getting down to a little bit of the nitty grittiness of these cannons Let's mainly start getting into the the importance of the reload and the penetration for a lot of you new players out there you're probably thinking well this is nice to know a lot of this information what cannons are kind of what they do longs mediums uh, and so forth but the penetration is really what a lot of the big players are looking about the pen the reload and a little bit of that base damage that's what a lot of us are looking at here so let's try and get into a little bit of the nitty-grittiness of that what is important about this penetration we start off, uh, let's just start with 42 pound longs. They've got a lot of pens, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, base damage 168, 70, one second reload. 
these suckers are some strong cannons. At 200 meters, which is at where most broadsides are shot from anyway, is 194. It's going to pin just about anything it hits. 300, a little less, 400, a little less. So even out there at four and 500 meters, this thing's got good penetration. And this is just a long gun. It's going to hit things. Whenever it hits, it's usually going to penetrate almost at a lot of the angles. Again, and that is the difference is the angle of which these cannons. So if you look at that, uh, at those pen at the penetration, which is at the bottom, look at those numbers. Most people just don't even pay attention to those. Obviously, anything up close, it's going to pen. Up in the 200 range, great. So what are we worried about? What is the pen that we're worried about? What's the number that counteracts that? Well, when you pull up your ship here, you need to look at your thickness. Thickness is what's important here, and you're looking at 123 thickness. for the. And this is just my standard Bologna. It's a teak white oak. It's an older build. It's not seasoned. It's not some of these special woods. It's just a little bit older, but it still has a little bit of speed. You know, 1255 is okay. It's something I don't mind losing, but it's still a fun ship. And its uh, thickness is only 123. Well, what's that mean? That means if a 42-pounder hits it, it's most likely going to go through. It's going to pen, and that damage of 168, that's going to hit my ship, and it's going to take away from those hit points. That's what uh, that's what that means. So let's hit something a little bit smaller. Over here, at a 9-pounder, at 200 meters, it's still going to pen. 400, still most likely going to pen, unless I'm at it some type of an angle. Now, again, we're assuming, you need to assume, that these uh, ships are just dead on broadside to broadside, a flat surface to a flat surface. It's the same thing if any of you out there have played World of Tanks, World of Warships, um, or uh, all those things that has armor and you have to you know kind of angle and see that shot bounce off. It's almost the same here. That's what that angling is, and I'll even throw a little clip in there. But uh, that's the importance of that. And let's go over here to a medium cannon. At 200 meters, it's 141. So that's still a pretty decent pen if it's his flat side at 200 meters. And usually, your shots are around that 250 meters. So it's going to be in between 200 and 300 meters. But look at the difference. It drops almost uh, almost 20, 20 points from 200 to 300. That means any type of angle, you're not going to pen much through these 9-pounders. And 123, that's coming off of a ship that's just a teak white oak. And it has no modifications that are really going to up this too much. Uh, once you put some armor mods on your ship, this number goes up. So it's not a fixed number for the most part. It does go up with the more uh, modifications that you put on here, along with, I believe, some books. Well, let's look at some ships with some heavier builds. So I pulled this back over here to the Netliffy map, pulled up some ships, compared some Bologna's, just grabbed some random ones, and I went off with some random woods. Now, as far as I have been told, and no, and I hope I'm not wrong here, African Oak... Malabar teak. Now these are rare woods. They're the expensive woods out there. They're very difficult to get a hold of. Uh, most ships built out of these are cost a lot of in-game money, and they are also supposed to be, as far as I'm told, the strongest uh, of the woods uh, that you can really build your ship out of here. Now the reason that's important is you're going to go down here again to the thickness, hit points, and thickness. That is what's important. We're looking at this number right here, 151. Well, that's pretty high number. Now again, let's assume that's just a flat broadside. The very second this ship angles in any way, that number increases. You shoot a, at any ship where it starts to angle, that cr the number increases. Um, there's no 100% way of showing that, but that number does go up quite a bit up into the 200s easily. Now I just picked the African Oak Malabar Teak and I did two of the upgrades that usually go on them uh i think navy oh, navy structure and i can't remember something else I made sure it was a whole bonus for it and i even put planking on there to see if i can get it pretty high and that's probably still not the highest number that you can even get i bet you can get a little higher than that for the most part depending on what you build your ship out of and that's most likely also a standard blue so i only picked a few upgrades and then i came over here and picked another africa African Oak, Malabar Teak, put nothing on it, and that's just regular going to be the base is 130. And again, this is flat broadside. I then did a seasoned Live Oak Seasoned Sabaku, which is actually a um, really good build, in my personal opinion. Put the upgrades on it, the hole, the, the planking. Came down here to thickness, 140. Now that's only 11 points below that rare wood, and that is a huge difference, guys. Again, a huge difference because, again, let's look at these cannons. On a flat broadside, 
most cannons are going to pen that 150 well your nine pounders at 200 meters nope barely at 100 meters on that 12 pounders still not going to pen that at uh, and remember you're you want to imagine 250 meters looking at the 200 meters at 147 you want to still drop that because it's the 250 that a lot of the fights are going to start off at and be fought at is going to be beyond 200 so anything beyond 200, 200 and beyond, 12 pounders aren't going to pen. 18 pounders, you might actually start seeing a little bit of penetration in between those, but still anything beyond 200 meters in any battle, you're not going to pen that, even on a flat broadside. And again, this is flat. We're not even talking about the angles. The second that ship angles, these, you know, these are medium cannons. They're not going to pen. Well, let's go over to the 18s now. The 18 at 200 meters is technically says it's supposed to uh, penetrate at 200. Anything below, and that gets further away. And again, that's without the angle. Obviously, 24s at a medium is going to start going to start making its penetration there. Uh, obviously, the 24 pounders and these. Let's go over here to the bloom fields on an 18 pounder. Yep, that'll make the pen. Anything beyond, no. Same with the navy guns. Again, those navy guns have great, great penetration. They are strong, the same as the longs for the most part, and uh, fast reload and good damage. That's why these things are so nice. Well, let's go to a carronade over here. This is a 68-pounder. Let's go to a 42-pound carronade. At 200 meters, it's not going to pen a damn thing. Not even at 100 meters, it's even going to struggle. And if the ship is at an angle, it's not going to get anything through there. And that's the downfall of these carronades. They have to be broadside to broadside, very flat, to use that fast reload and that good damage. That's what you need to use them for. Do not throw them all over your ships and, and hope that... A long distance fight you're gonna get anywhere because you're just gonna be upset with yourself 32 pound mediums that's where you're gonna see a lot more damage a lot more penetration come through on those at a hundred meters they do good obviously anything does at 200 and at 300 meters they barely make it through that African oak Malabar teak now that's that rare wood now if we go on to that live oak seasoned sabaku seasoned any type of angle even these 32 pound mediums are going to start bouncing at, at a long distance we really want to pull up that's where these 42 pound longs and mediums come into play that's where they are so important at 300 meters they still can pen just about anything especially the longs that's where that's why they're so scary that's why all the players out there like to use them now again you can switch these cannons up and we'll go over that really fast but the bloom fields at 300 meters, still going to pen. 400 meters, still going to pen, and they're going to do a lot of damage, and they reload fast. These are the kind of cannons you just got to be careful of and look out for. So that's where it's important. Let's see if we can pull that up one more time here. And again, this is with the modifications on this African oak in Malabartique. Without, these, uh, without the, the mods in there, without that trim, without that ship knowledge, you're looking pretty low, and it's rare to find these. Only AI are going to be somewhat uh, on these low ends, and they're even more they're even powerful. They just feel that way, just because that's how they're programmed. But 130 is still going to be a decent build for this. If you were to drop this down, say let's go seasoned teak, or not even well, we just showed you a non-seasoned. Let's go. Oh well, anything will pin through that seasoned teak, seasoned sabaku on here. This is where you're going to see. Let's see what you got on thickness. 114, and that's a flat broadside. Now, I told everybody in my in the woods video that Season Teak, Season Sabaku is actually a pretty good build, and that is a good build because of your speed. Up to 12 knots, you're pretty quick. you got some good acceleration. Your turning is going to be excellent, and that's where you're going to see the difference in these ones, 4.8 to 6.9. Now, why that is so important, that turn and the acceleration to the turn and all that, is because you're going to be able to angle a lot faster against any enemy player that is shooting at you, including, this is including AI, not just players, where that number of 114, the faster you can get angled and at a better angle, that number is going to increase. Because of that teak that's seasoned, it's going to increase quite substantially. It's going to be a decent one to use. That is why I suggest to new players that teak Sabaku is a good center build. It's a, it's a regular build that you can use. Um... Again, if you're looking for something speedy, you use faster woods. If you're looking for something tankier, you use tankier woods. That's just how it goes. If you want something as close to the middle as you're ever going to get and still have something to complain about, Teak Sab's your way to go on that, okay? Another small tidbit about the penetration of each cannon, why it's so important, 
is a lot of the times it's used for demasking, and that's another important thing and another video I'm definitely not going to make at this time. But the, the penetration is just important because the higher the penetration, the higher chance you have of demasking an enemy player, AI, so forth, is these mediums just uh, they, even though they do have a penetration at 50 100 at 200 and 300 they really lose a lot of that pen and which makes them a lot harder to demast a ship and as if it's hard enough trying to hit the dang mast imagine you know only getting a full out of a full broadside you hit two three four times well that starts to annoy you, you think well, you're never going to demast something hit him two three or four times well when that penetration is so much higher using long cannons at 200 meters at such a higher pen and the more mods you have on there that increases that penetration that two three four shots maybe another broadside another two three maybe four shots starts to add up a lot faster and you will see the demast on an enemy player or AI a lot quicker using these long cannons than you will mediums mediums let's just throw an average number of almost 25 hits and again that's not realistic i would say you, you never know it just depends on the the caliber of the cannon you know obviously the bigger ones the better but i'd say with a, i've seen 42 pound longs take down someone's mast in 10 shots 10 shots in the same mast at the same place easily demass them and some probably would say faster but that's why it's so much more important that's why a lot of people like these longs more than the mediums obviously I think most players use them for that reason. But it also depends on the angle. And why do people even shoot for masts? Well, one, you just want to slow them down. But when is a viable option to shoot for the masts over taking or setting a whole broadside into an enemy player? Because that's really what you want to do is put as many broadsides into an enemy player or an AI into the enemy ship as possible. That's kind of your main objective. So when do you shoot for masts? Well, a lot of the time it depends on the angle, again, of the enemy ship. And I wanted to throw up real quick just a just a little video that's going to just show the angling of, of what I'm talking about so that people aren't aren't kind of wondering because again there's a lot of visual learners out there and I wonder if that's going to help more than uh, more than being any kind of hindrance here. So to really quickly clarify the what we're talking about when I say angling here, this is a Christian. It's going to be a teak teak. It's very uh, no, I think it's a teak white oak and it's. Uh, thickness is only 130 on its side now i'm only facing a pavel which is a second rate but uh, it's not too strong of a second rate. it's probably the weakest second rates for sure it, this pavel has 42 pound mediums on the bottom and definitely 24 pound mediums the middle top deck it, top deck it's an ai so it's also going to have the nine pound mediums as well now again those 42 pound mediums on the bottom penetrate all the way up to 163 at least at 200 yard at uh, 200 meters now i'm sitting at about 200 to 250 at this point the distance between us is roughly 200 250 maybe a little further who knows but these cannons should easily be able to penetrate my side if you're looking at the statistics of which we were talking his broadside is easily going to pen mine but not at the angle and that's kind of what we're going to go over in real quick i mean my health is already at this because i've already bounced almost two full broadsides off me and i've only taken very small amount of damage here so let's look at the di the difference here. He's going to shoot his his top deck first, which is going to be nothing more than those mediums. You're going to see those bounce real easily as I close the distance and I keep myself at such a nice nice tight angle that everything's going to bounce off. After that, he's going to shoot next deck. Yep, here comes the bottoms. Those are those 42s, I believe. Yep, that looks like the 42 pounders right there. Deck right above that are going to be those 24 pounders. And as you can see, just constant bouncing 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 look how much health i lost he easily should have penned even though those were mediums so now that comes back to show you i mean that's just a teak wide oak not even seasoned ship 130 thickness on its side and so that if that was an enemy player and i was at that angle obviously going for the mast might have been the better option or just trying to shoot through my nose here shooting bow to stern that's going to kill crew, take down my centerpiece, and definitely help. The other important thing is if he would have had those longs, um, if he were to be, make that broadside, a lot more of those cannons would have penetrated. And therefore, a lot more damage would have been into me. But instead, it's an AI. They do use mediums, even though AI use double charge on, I think, every, every round. Every single broadside from an AI is double charged. If you didn't know that, you do now. Um, so that gives them a lot higher pen as well. But that's just kind of clear shows you guys the difference between the longs and the mediums if it would have had longs he might have been penned even with the 24 pounders 
because at 200 meters, that's 180, and I was so close that I even dropped down to almost 150 meters, and yet he still made a lot of bounces off my broadside. And at 200 meters, it's 181. That's just on the longs, the mediums, 161 at 200, 171 at 100 in there. But that angle, again, that angle is going to double, if not triple, your, broad, your, uh, your broadside thickness to where not much can pin through there. And that is why it is so important to know the differences between these penetration, the reloads, everything like that. I have some videos that at the very end of all of this, I'm going to throw out some videos and you're going to see the difference. One full broadside of a Bologna into a third rate, all cannons hitting it. You're going to see the difference between mediums, longs, bloomfields, and navy guns. I have uh, one quick video for each. It's at the end of this uh, kind of tutorial. You can watch through those real fast if you'd like. You can even skip to those. It's going to just show you the difference in damage. And to be honest with you, it's not a very big difference. But one thing you will notice, the penetration from these Navy guns, Bloomfields, and Longs is so nice that it actually goes through to the other side of the ship. So if I broadside one side, the other side is actually starts taking damage. And that is something that you might be interested in seeing. You, you can always skip it if you'd like, but uh, if you're interested in seeing that, you can go there. Now that we're kind of past that nitty-gritty, all the stats and the numbers and what they mean, what they do, let's get to the part that I think some of you newer players are a little, a little bit more looking forward to, kind of what you came to this to look for in the first place, and that's actually setting these cannons up on your ship. What should you use? What should you put on there? Now, we're going to just start off with this quick balloon I have. It's an old build, teak, white oak, has an armor mod, uh, repair, some more, some speed, and a random elite Spanish on there that's been on there, and I don't want to take it off because it was expensive. Um, it's just a fun PvP ship to go out and lose and get sunk because it's so old. It doesn't matter. It's got 123 thickness, whatever. It's just, it's a, it's a Bologna, and everyone likes these Bolognas. But let's start looking at the decks here. That's what's going to be important here is the uh, what cans we're going to put on. This takes 32 pounders on the bottom. It takes 24 pounds on the mid deck and 9 pounds on this top deck here. And I wasn't going to open it up, but I guess I should. That way this can just get another visual here. The bottom, medium, upper decks here of this, this beautiful ship. So what are we looking at? There's multiple different things that you can go at. And these once you get into these bigger ships, you have a lot more range of what you can do. The usual um, is to just throw some longs across, and that's and that's what most PvP players are going to do. They're going to start off with their 32-pound longs, probably for the first two decks on the bottom. And then on that upper deck, they're going to put some 42-pound carronades. Now, I didn't bring a whole set of these 42s, but that's right where they would go would be right there, okay? Just so you understand. Uh, if now a lot you'd have to turn those off that's the thing is the further out you are remember these things at 200 meters don't pen anything and they probably can't even hit that far anyway they shoot l shoot uh, less distance than a medium cannon if that's not what your kind of play style if that's not what you're into and you like seeing those longs go all the way across then this is a viable option and let people argue with me and you all you want but you can throw those nine pound longs on the top and just shoot longs all the way across now remember it's the reload that you're going to be looking at this is the difference this deck's going to take longer to reload than this deck this deck's longer than this deck and that's going to be the only difference here now, even if you were to take those nine pounds off, and I have to do this, and just and you put that 42 pound, that deck's going to load even faster with those carronades, and you're going to have to shoot them all differently. And that's just what you want to do. What you don't want to do is put, oh, well, you know, I just can't find any uh, nine pound long cannons. So what am I going to do? I'm going to throw these on here. At this point, you, you've just lost. There's almost no reason because now these guys are going to shoot at a different range. Most of the time, you're going to use that target shot that practice shot every time you take that one little shot at the beginning using that space bar and you'll launch a little cannon out there to kind of see well how what's the distance and you're going to be aiming clear up in the air with that medium pound trying to hit the target of, that's past 250 to 300 meters and you're going to shoot and lob a shot out there and once you hit their deck you're going to say oh that's it and they're going to fire full broadside well guess what these two long cannon decks they're going to shoot high and way over your target and you're going to miss and you're going to be frustrated that's something you don't want to do. That's the same. It's it's almost the same reason on why if you put carronades, it's going to be the same thing. If you put a carronade on top, you don't take a practice shot or what they call, I think it's a distance shot, just to measure measure how far out you are. 
You're not going to take a measure shot with a 42-pound carronade because you're going to watch a big old ball just drop right into the water. You're going to turn off that deck, and then you're going to use your 28-pounder, your 24-pounders, uh, to make that measuring shot. Which is also why a lot of players like to put these long cannons on there all the way across, and that is because they like to take that measuring shot with that nine-pounder, which at past 250 meters, guess what? It still can pen through most woods. It can still pen through most ships at past 250 meters. So they like to do longs all the way across, and that's a viable option. A lot of people do that. That is a big one for PvP. Once you get this down, you can start mixing these up. Say you take off these uh, 32 pounders, start throwing on some Bloomfields. Well, guess what? The Bloomfields are going to shoot the same distance as these longs for the most part. And the, the, the damage is higher. The reload, look at the reload. You're going to get the same reload, 62 and 63. You're basically getting the, both these decks loading the exact same speed. So by the time they're ready, you can shoot both broadsides instead of waiting and waiting. And that's a very viable option. More damage. And look at the pen. Here we go. 200 meters, 177. 200 meters, 181. That's still going to pen most woods the exact same. And these are 32 pounders, so they're going to do quite, quite well. All the way up to 300 meters, even 400 meters, 152. That's going to pen through most of your ships. Uh, the angle could uh, be somewhat of a problem, but still something that's even closer, uh, around 200 meters. Same with these longs, 200 meters. These things are going to pen. They're going to reload the same. This is a very good option if you have the 32-pound Bloomfields. Throw them on there. Why not, right? Uh, take those off. These Navy guns. Now, these Navy guns are just uh, are just amazing. You can use them all around. Put Navy guns anywhere. Navy guns are going to be all around better cannon. Remember, they load fast. They load as fast as a medium. Uh, they do a lot of damage. Oh, no, they're a little bit longer load than the medium. If I recall, am I correct? I think they load a little bit longer 63 to 69 yeah so they're a little bit longer reload than these long cannons but it's overall higher damage and great penetration so ov overall just a wonderful can you can kind of switch uh, navy guns out almost anywhere you want so <clears throat> here's the other option and this is an option a lot of people go with are these mediums on the bottom i don't think i went over that yet this is something that not only do I do, but a lot of um, high-end players will do this out here. They will throw these mediums on the long or on the bottom deck. I am sure you've you've uh, you know a few other players that play this game that are um, somewhat famous. A lot of them are Russians. You've got like Ram Denaric, Ram uh, Captain Reverse, uh, and quite a few other players out there. Um, those I think those are the two names that a lot of people watch the most, is what I understand. I have I've. I have fought both of them, and I've probably had my head kicked in by mo by them both times. But I've captured a few ships off of Captain Reverse. Um, I took a I've taken a few Balonas off him, a few other ships, and I was surprised that that's actually what I found as well. Is even Captain Reverse runs these mediums on the bottom, and then he'll run longs in the middle, and either some longs or carronades. Usually, he runs the carronades. He'll run the the medium, the long, the carronade run. That's what a lot of players do do. Uh, I think Reverse runs that same setup as well. Depending on the ship he's on, he will also run these 68-pound carronades on the stern. Now, the reason you want these big, big, fat cannons, even though they don't shoot very far, is when they do hit a player be that gets behind you and they hit the mass, they do a ton of damage very fast, and they can demast a player quite quickly as long as you're, you, can, you hit them. So that's what those 68-pound carronades are for, is that stern. This is a, a setup that I enjoy using, the 32, or the mediums, the longs and longs. I use that all the time. I'll switch them out for those carronades on that middle deck as well. Now, here is the tips and the tricks, is these mods. You can, again, we want to throw in some British gunners uh, and maybe some basic tackle. And basic tackles are crap, but you know what? They're basic. Throw them on a crappy ship. You're going to lose the PC, PZ. Whenever you do all mediums, let's say you do that crazy, crazy thing. When you put mediums on your DLC ships, people do that all the time. Which are these nine pounders? People do that all the time. Mediums all the way around. I would not suggest it, especially on a Bologna, unless it's a throwaway ship. You can put these mediums everywhere. They shoot all over the damn place. Maybe you put carronades on the top. What you're going to do, see that dispersion, the max horizontal dispersion and the max vertical dispersion. 
this is going to be like shotguns and it's cannons are going to be shooting all over the place your aim is going to be extremely low if you do not have the correct books and modifications one mod that can kind of help with that are these congreves and or pelu sites whichever one you find they are a cheap mod you can find those and throw those on your ship they will help in my opinion they're a throwaway mod just throw them away i don't really like them i sell them i don't care for them now if you do have to go with this medium option something you're going to want to look for remember the reload on mediums is going to be better than longs and you're most likely going to be fighting other players that are going to have long cannons so what you want to do is you're going to up the penetration on these mediums that's where these french gunners french gun or don't waste a french gunnery sergeant but you can french gunnery sergeants french gunners any kind of penetration mod that you can find that's where you're going to want to throw these into your modifications as well now most ships are blue, this is a purple, you're only going to have those three slots. My suggestions are always an armor, repair, and a pen or a reload. That is a nice basic setup, most players like to go with that. And uh, I can do another video that's going to explain a lot more on what modifications to put on that are going to be best for you along with the books because you need to be able to mix these and make sure that they work together, your books and your, modification, your modifications. So. I do not suggest the mediums. A lot of people do them. They are best used for your DLC ships, such as the Rap V Sin. Now let's throw these bad boys back over here. That was 28 pounders and 18 pounds, 9 pounds, whatever. So that's where you're going to get your Rap V Sin. It's just a little DLC, fourth rate. I love this ship. It's a fun ship. Uh, it only takes the 24 pounders on the bottom. Now, for fourth rate ships, I'm not going to make a whole video on these yet. But then Ingerman Lind is a, a, a badass fourth rate. It carries the 32 pounds on the bottom deck. But this Rat Vison's a nice little speedster. Takes the 24. You can do the mediums. I definitely suggest doing the longs. Again, that is going to be your best, your best choice. Now, the other thing is the Congreves. This ship, if you make it a speed ship, throw these, these Congreves on there. Look at the middle deck. Middle deck are 18 pounders. So you want to make this really nice, throw some stupid poods on there to throw those away if you want. And on the top, 32 pound, oh, I didn't bring any 32 pound carronades, did I? 32 pound carronades was definitely a viable option. My personal opinion is either some longs or you're going to have to just throw some mediums on there. If you just want to get in, do a shitload of damage, get out, right there's your shot. That's going to be your best. If you're really feeling gutsy and stupid, in my opinion, <laughs> throw the freaking bloomfields on there remember these are hard to get a hold of they're expensive they're rare do i do not suggest you waste bloomfields on a rat vison it's a dlc ship that's my personal opinion you probably shouldn't waste the poods on them either unless you have a lot of these poods sitting around some players have 200 of them they throw them away like they're candy but that's still a viable option or just throw the mediums on there this is a very fast reload these are going to be lightweight they're going to keep your ship fast this is just the Teak S Sabaku S. Now, if I pulled up a Bermuda Cedar Mahogany or Bermuda Bermuda, something super fast that's hitting those 14 knots and these cannons aren't going to slow it down, you can make them reload faster with the British Gunners. Throw the British Gunners on there. Make that reload go faster. Right now, the reload, what, 52 seconds? You can get that down into the early uh, 41 seconds if you really want. I've, I've seen it done with the Congreves. The Poods, you can get those down just the same, even smaller. That's amazing how fast you can enter a battle. If you're super fast, you can run down, say, a trade ship. You will demolish any trade ship, almost with any ship anyways. But say you have two Rat Vsons that come together, or even a Rat Vison versus an Agamemnon. And an Agamemnon probably has thicker armor, maybe a Live Oak, White Oak, something like that. You pull up right next to that puppy and just out DPS him. You're going to just constantly reload and shoot two broadsides for his one, especially if he's got long cannons loaded up. If they've got long cannons, think about the difference in reload, 63 all the way down to 52, and this you can get this down into the 30s. Remember that. You can get it, or not 30s, the early 40s. You can get this really low. You're going to be shooting two broadsides for their one, more damage with some with the, definitely these poods, and definitely, the, even though they're nine pound mediums, I would still suggest throwing these carronades. If you can get the carronades on there, that is what yeah, I would definitely suggest. And you're just gonna do a lot more damage. That is a viable option. It's just a suggestion. You kind of pick what you want on that. That is something you can do. So what 
what is something for a new player that I would go for? I, as I said, almost with all your ships, the best thing to go for is longs. That's what most players go with. You can do the mediums on bottom. You can do mediums, long, long. It's it's your choice on that. So let's wrap this up, guys. I'm sure you enjoyed listening to me rant long enough. Uh, I think the main point is to know your cannons. Know what... Uh, Know what's best to put with whatever you want to do with your ships and uh, why certain cannons are better than others. Uh, pay attention to the pen, the reloads, the damage is uh, not too important. You won't notice too much in battle. Just know what to use what each of these cannons are for. I really hope this video will help you guys out, especially you new players out there that uh, have many questions. The developers don't change the cannon, the pens, and all that too often, so you shouldn't. Uh, this video should last quite a while before it has to be updated. That's probably why people haven't made too many videos, because the devs change things. Um, but I appreciate you watching. If there's any questions, please send me a message. Let me know. Ask around in, uh, in your own nation, in your clan. Uh, just ask questions. It's very important on this game that you ask questions. If you have any questions you need to ask, I'll do my absolute best to answer them. Again, this is not uh, the end of this video. I am going to put those four mini videos on the end of this one that's going to just show me doing a broadside from my beautiful Bologna here. Um, first, it's going to start off with mediums, a full broadside of mediums, a full broadside of longs, a full broadside of bloomfields, and then navy guns. And then you can just look at the difference that you're seeing. I believe I'm just going to be shooting a regular teak white oak ship, uh, if I recall. So yeah, if you want to stay tuned and just kind of watch that. Uh, and then definitely leave a comment on your opinions. Uh, that would be great. Appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully this helped. Again, for you visual learners out there, I was actually intrigued to see the difference in broadsides between each of these cannons from a full broadside perspective here. So he started out in a Bologna, pulled up a third rate right next to myself. Now remember, the third rate and the Bologna are, for the most part, the same ship. There's not too many differences, and I'm sure I can explain the differences in another video. But I've loaded out the Bologna with nothing but medium cannons. On its left side, nothing but medium cannons, 32 pounders, 24 pounders, and 9 pounders on top. I'm sitting at about 100 meters so that I even the medium 9 pounders will penetrate. Both ships are built out of teak white oak. Not seasoned, just regular teak white oak. And we're going to check out the difference in broadside from first the mediums, longs, and so forth and so on. And you'll be able to ch check the difference here. Let's make sure we're in the shot. Reloaded my entire broadside of long cannons 32 pounds, 24 pounds, and 9 pounds Obviously they're all going to pen at this distance, 100 meters Let's just see the difference in the damage Or if there is really any that you'll notice, to be honest Thirty-five shots compared to thirty-seven, but I think oh, if I could use my cursor here, the only difference is look. You did notice some damage on this side with the mediums. You didn't get any damage on the opposite side of the ship. Yet that's roughly about the same damage-wise, just from this broadside, I would say. But you did get a lot that went through to the other side, and that's going to be your difference in the pen of the cannons. If anything, that is the difference from pen between longs and mediums. Is you'll get some more damage on the opposite side as well. Full broadside of Bloomfields. Let's look at the difference. Bloomfields. Uh, 35. Uh, there's a difference. Almost the exact same as Long's. But again, this is only 100 meters. You're not going to see too much of a difference. This is just what we're going to see the test wise. So that you understand. Not too much of a difference though. 32's. 24s and 9 pounders is what you're seeing. Reload a full broadside of navy guns. Teeny bit further than 100 meters, but it should have the same effect. Let's uh, see what happens on this one. Now, they say these ones aren't supposed to do as much damage, but I feel they still do quite a bit. Didn't do as much to the other side, 
even though we were a teeny bit further away, these cannons are known to have a little bit higher pen, if I recall. I could be incorrect. They could be backwards, but I believe they did. Didn't do as much on the other side. Still did a decent amount of damage on this side, though. That was Navy guns, though. 